Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. Just like that, the lights are back out on eBay, but I did have one sale that kind of saved the day, saved this video. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the eBay shop. I am Chris, the old school picker. If you're new to the channel, I go around estate sales, yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, wherever I can find stuff for cheap, buy it, put it in this shop, and resell it on eBay. That's what this channel is all about. If you're into that type of content, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, someone asked me about some stuff on... I've had a couple of people ask me about some stuff on the amazon store lately and i did add some new stuff i know somebody asked me about the stretch wrap so i did add that and i think somebody asked me about some colored bubble mailers so i did add some of those so i am constantly adding stuff well i don't want to say constantly but uh i am adding stuff pretty often as often as i can and uh, if you click on that uh, there's plenty of choices of stretch wrap and i love that stuff i use it quite often so yeah go check out the amazon store down below the link is down below i sure would appreciate it got tons of stuff pretty much everything you need and if there is something you don't see that you need message me on instagram and it may take me a few days <laughs> to get it added but i will try to add it as soon as i can so I've, I've been bragging on eBay a lot the last few videos and well <laughs> yesterday I don't know what happened but the lights went out. Yesterday was a super 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 slow day. I think I had two sales all day yesterday for a total of like $34. Two sales for like $34. So yesterday was really bad. But today we've already had a sale come in that's kind of helped <laughs> save this video. And we do have a few from the day before that came in late. So all together we have seven orders going out today for $246. But let me just tell you, it was a whole lot worse than that before this sale came in this morning. So I'm happy about that sale. Maybe today's going to be a good day. Yesterday was Tuesday and we sold $34. But now the day before, Monday, we sold $174. So not bad Monday, but Tuesday was an absolute train wreck. No offers, no watchers, none of that once again. So... You know, I guess this is the new eBay. I guess this is the new eBay. It's going to be, you know, eBay's always been a roller coaster ride. I've been on it for 20 something years. I'm used to that, but it seems like the hills and the valleys are a whole lot more extreme at this point. So I think this is the new eBay. So I guess we should just get used to it, right? I don't want to get used to it. And I'm not excited about it, but let's go ahead and get started pulling orders. And we'll start with the one that sold this morning. And I am super thankful for this sale because I was going to come out here and make a video of the six uh, items I had. And uh, because you know, you guys know on this channel, I show the real side of reselling. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, don't forget to watch the end of the video. We got some more viewer mail to open. So don't forget about that. Thank you again, Chad. But I sold a Wii system, and I think, I could be wrong, I could have another one around here somewhere, chances are I do, but I think this is the last Wii that I have listed anyways, and I don't think I have any more in the death pile currently. So I'm super excited to have this sale, especially this morning, because I sent out the offer last night. Me and Caleb was out here filming uh, Two Old Guys Reselling Podcast, Episode 5 and and that video will be out tomorrow and i sent out after we got done filming we was just sitting backstage talking a little bit and i sent out a few offers while we were sitting there talking and one of those offers was this Wii system and well this morning they accepted it uh yesterday was bad like i said so i was just trying to trying to produce some sales right and this Wii, it's a pretty good bundle it's rv l 001 and it is the gamecube compatible system it did have all the hookups all the power cords 
all the AV cords and all that. So everything is ready to go. I did test it, it does work. I included a nunchuck and one controller. Uh, the sensor bar, the AV cords, and I did have a <laughs> spare manual laying around, so I just included that. So the operations manual and the system setup. So, and then also nine games. Now, I always, when I do these bundles, I always try to include all the cheap games I got lying around just to get rid of them. But Dika Sports. Wheel of Fortune, and you will sense a pattern here. They're all kind of game show type stuff. Big, Big Brain Academy, uh, Minute to Win It, We Play. I had so many of these games. I probably had like six of these games, so I just bundled them with every system I sold. Mini Golf, this one's the same thing. Anytime you buy Wii collections, this game and that We Play always seems to be part of the collection, so... Uh, Wii Fit Plus, Sega Bass Fishing, and Big Game Hunter. But I ended up sending out a best offer on that system, and they accepted for $63.74. And that sale came in this morning, so hopefully, hopefully today is going to be better than yesterday. All right, next item. This is one of my two sales yesterday. V2 over on our good friend's Tiny Barn Treasure Shelf. So I appreciate you guys. Hopefully your sales are doing better than mine. Because mine's been a little slow uh, yesterday. Real slow yesterday. But anyways, we sold a hat. This is a pretty cool hat. Let's see here. But it's a sports hat, and it's one of my arch enemies uh, as a Atlanta Braves fan we can't root for these guys for sure because they're in our same division right there it is and I believe this was like a stadium giveaway and uh I've got to straighten it out a little bit because I've had this hat listed for a while but I remember when I looked it up uh I had a hard time finding this exact hat but it it is a pretty cool hat if you're a Phillies fan and because it has the spell out on it, but it's also got the Liberty Bell, which, you know, they use the Liberty Bell as their symbol a lot, being in Philadelphia. But this exact hat was hard to find. So I think it may have been like a stadium giveaway. I'm not sure. It is an older hat. Vintage number one apparel hat from the early 90s, new era Philadelphia Phillies uh, snapback hat. Is It is made in the USA, so pretty cool. It does have a name written on it. Louise, I think is how you say that. But anyways, uh, this one, I, I took the best offer on this hat too. I was just trying to get anything going yesterday. But it did end up selling for 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, and the other thing I sold yesterday, I only had two sales, is on H6. Let's see if I can find it. Let's uh, see, I think that's it right back there. And it's not on a sponsored shelf, but we will talk about our good friend Donald over at Mars Bargain Basement on YouTube and eBay. And I seen a post from Donald on YouTube the other day that he was going to have to take a little bit of time off of YouTube. So Donald, I am praying and hoping everything is fine and okay, but uh, he said he'd be back in June, so not taking a ton of time off. But I wanted to make sure I mentioned him because, that's right, this is going out to Donald. So I appreciate you, Donald, for the support over at Mars Bargain Basement, YouTube, and eBay. This is Become a Better You from Joel Osteen. Uh, how many CDs is it? I don't know. Approximately six hours audiobook. And anyways, this sold for $6.29 plus shipping. Everybody go check out Donald over on his YouTube channel and uh, tell him OSP sent you. And you can't wait for him to get back on YouTube. So prayers that everything is okay, Donald. And I sure do appreciate you. Now this sale came in late Monday after I'd already shipped Monday. And it's a good one too. So I did have a couple of good ones going out in this video. And it's not sponsored on the sea shelves. We'll talk about our good friends Ryan and Paul over at Resale CMY over on YouTube. And I believe that is their eBay name as well. But I know you can find them on 
YouTube at Resale CMY. Go check those guys out. They crush it on eBay. Crush it. They find some of the best stuff of anybody I know on YouTube. Anyways, this is a really, really good camera. Um, but I did not have a power cord to test it. So I sewed it as is, kind of. And I probably should have bought a cord for it, honestly. But it is a Sony Cybershot Exmore RDC DSC TX1 10.2 megapixel pre owned, great physical condition, and a little digital camera. And I didn't have a power cord or anything like that, so I just listed it as is. I would say it works, honestly. I would say it works. But I didn't test it, and it does have the little wallet carrying case. And even untested like that, I sewed it. I had it listed a little higher, but took the best offer on it as well. But I've had it for a little while. I think this is like a close to a $100 camera, if it works. Maybe a little more. Anyways, in this condition, I sewed mine for $51.99 plus shipping. Good deal. Keep your eye out for that camera. Sony Cybershot x more all right next item c1 now this is this is my team right here one of my teams going out and it's in c1 and i think it's this guy right here and it's not sponsored but we'll talk about our good friends over at crider collectibles everybody go check them out on ebay under crider collectibles i sure do appreciate you guys anyways this is a vintage atlanta braves fulton county stadium <laughs> Fulton County Stadium. The last time I went to watch the Braves, they were in Fulton County Stadium. They have then they moved to Turner Field, Turner Park, and now they're at a new park. So that's how long it's been since I've went and watched a Braves game live. So yeah, I, the last time I went and watched them was mid '80s. I was a kid with my parents. I need to go back. I really do. But anyways, I had two of these pins vintage fulton county stadium pen thanks for the memories 1966 to 1996 and like i said i went and watched them in the mid 80s um if you know anything about the braves dale murphy was still their right fielder so that's how long it's been anyways uh this one sold for 7.99 plus shipping and i still have one more of the braves pens cool deal i love selling pens love it i don't going out speaking of pens and speaking of Atlanta teams, I uh, got a football pin going out, and that's my football team, Atlanta Falcons football pin. And it's on the Hillbilly Butler shelf, and that is our good friend, Wendy. So thank you so much, Wendy. I sure do appreciate it. Everybody go check out her eBay store, the Hillbilly Butler. And it's kind of weird that I sold a Braves pin and now a Falcons pin, and I just looked, and they are not going to the St. Byron coincidence i guess anyways 1986 coca-cola atlanta falcons hat pin uh sold this one for 449 plus shipping and the next order going out is in l10 yes that's right i sold another golf club so happy about that for sure let's see it's this guy right here pretty decent club and we'll talk about rocky top picker over on youtube and ebay i did find your youtube channel the other day and subscribe so thank you very much ben uh good luck with youtube man it's a grind but keep at it and you'll get there so everybody go check out rocky top picker over on youtube tell him make sure you tell him osp sent you and callaway big bertha s2 h2 driver 11 degree driver yes big bertha and this one right hand regular flex in fairly good shape the grip i mean it could use a new grip but it still has life left in it and this one sold for 19.99 plus shipping all right make sure you stay to the end of the video i'm going to open up chad's mail in just a second but this is my poor 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 miserable sales going out today Thank goodness for the Wii this morning, and thank goodness for this little camera. 52 bucks for that camera, good deal. So, glad to get those sales. I mean, I'm happy with what I get. Appreciative, thankful for what I get. It could always be worse, right? Uh, trying to stay positive, I am. 
but yeah, today before I had that we sale, I was really, really dreading coming out here and making a video because without that we sale, it would have been really bad. So that's my sales going out. Let's go and open up Chad over at Wolfman's Goodies over on eBay's viewer mail and see what he sent me. And Kathy sent me some hats the other day and I said, you know, that's one of the, my favorite things that Kathy's ever sent me. Well, this ranks up there with some of the favorites, my favorite stuff I've ever got in the mail too. And he sent me a bunch of records. I don't know if he intended on me to sell them, keep them, or what. But uh, I may hang on to them for a while. I have a record player. My wife got me a record player two or three years ago. My wife and son, I think for Father's Day, if I remember right. And I had it set up at the old house. But since we moved to the new house, I've not had anywhere to set it. Nowhere to put it. And I have thought long and hard about where where I could put it in here because I, I could totally listen to some old records while I'm sitting in here working. I do get tired of listening to YouTube sometimes, believe it or not. But anyways, uh, if I can figure out a place to put it in here, I may hang on to some of these records because Chad obviously knows my love and taste for music because some of these, man, all of these actually are my taste and my kind of music. Journey, Raised on Radio, Oh man, I just miss this time and era. <laughs> Dude, I am a 80s kids forever, right? George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Oh, I love I love George Thorogood. It's such a cool, cool album. The Eagles, uh, I'm a huge, huge Eagles fan. Huge Eagles fan. Love the Eagles. So thank you, Chad, so much, man. You you know me, apparently. Uh and the another journey album. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So excited about these. I'm going to hang on to them for a little while and then uh, eventually I may sell them. But uh, I'm going to try to find a place to put my record player. So he sent me how many? Four? One, two, three, four albums. Thank you so much, Chad. And he did send me a card as well. Thank you for your purchase. I'm sure this is just the card that he sends to his buyers. Before leaving feedback, please contact us AS at AP if you should have any issues with your purchase. eBay ID, Wolfman's Goodies. And over at YouTube, Wolfman Goodies. I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. I have to check you out. And I apologize, Chad. I did not. I guess that's you. I think so. Yeah. I did not know you had a YouTube channel, but you've been putting out videos uh, about every day, it looks like. So I'm going to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Love that, by the way. That's so awesome. And everybody go check him out on YouTube. Wolfman Goodies. Uh, he has 137 videos and 22 subscribers. So we can definitely help you there. I'm pretty sure. So the OSP crew, go subscribe to Chad and uh, tell him OSP sent you. I sure would appreciate it. Wolfman's Goodies. And I apologize, Chad, that I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. So now I do. So appreciate all the records and uh, thank you so much for your support. And yes, I did get what was in the envelope as well. So thank you, Chad. I appreciate you. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. Everybody remember to go check out my Amazon store for all your reselling supply needs. Also, I'll go check out my American Bubble Boy link that is down below. Go check out Wolfman Goodies and also go check out donald at mars bargain basement so thank you very much donald i sure do appreciate appreciate it you guys are the best viewers on youtube thank you guys remember to go check out uh two old guys reselling podcast too episode four and five i think are our best episodes i think we're getting a little better so everybody go check out me and caleb over there i sure would appreciate it thank you guys old school